Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose f is a function from a to b, and g is a function from b to c. If g compose f is injective, then f is injective. Now let's remind ourselves, since f is a function from a to b, and g is a function from b to c, we know that g compose f is a function from a to c. And to say that g compose f is injective means the following. It means for every two elements, x1 and x2 in A, if g compose f of x1 equals g compose f of x2, then x1 is equal to x2. Similarly, to say that f is injective means the following. It means for every two elements x1 and x2 in A, if f of x1 equals f of x2, then x1 is equal to x2. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now we're trying to prove if g compose f is injective, then f is injective. So let's suppose that g compose f is injective. The whole goal from here is to prove that f is injective which means we want to prove that this statement is true. And since we're trying to prove a statement about every two elements in A, let's give ourselves any two elements in A. I'll call them x1 and x2. And from here, we want to show if f of x1 equals f of x2, then x1 equals x2. So let's assume that f of x1 equals f of x2. And the whole goal from here is to show that x1 equals x2. Now, we know that f of x1 and f of x2 are output values of the function f, so they must be elements of b. And since they're elements of b, this means that they are elements of the domain of the function g, so we can send them into the function g. So their respective output values are g of f of x1 and g of f of x2. And since these two guys are equal, we had that g of f of x1 equals g of f of x2. But if you recall, one of the properties of composition of functions is that g of f of x1 equals g compose f of x1. And g of f of x2 equals g compose f of x2. And now, let's use the fact that we know g compose f is injective. Since g compose f is injective, this means that we know that this statement is true. And this statement works for every two elements in A. So in particular, it must work for x1 and x2. Therefore, if g compose f of x1 equals g compose f of x2, then we could conclude x1 equals x2. But we already know that g compose f of x1 equals g compose f of x2. That's what we have here. Therefore, we can conclude x1 equals x2. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So let's put this together. We see, given any two elements, x1 and x2 in A, if f of x1 equals f of x2, then x1 equals x2. So we have proven precisely this statement, and that proves that f is injective. And so we have proven if g compose f is injective, then f is injective. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.